Every now and then I see someone asking if it's possible to use ZBrush with a mouse. The short answer is yes, you totally can, but it is strongly recommended that you use a tablet. Having said that, I was wondering how hard would it actually be to sculpt something entirely with a mouse. So I decided to go ahead and try to sculpt a human head using just the mouse. In this video I recorded the process. At the beginning it felt awkward and uncomfortable, as I expected. But after just a few minutes I got used to the mouse and surprisingly it wasn't that terrible. I'm not saying it was particularly enjoyable, but it wasn't a frustrating experience as I thought it would be. It was just different, a little less control. Many times I found myself thinking more in the actual design and proportions instead of fighting with the controls, which is how it should be. The main difference is that since you don't have the benefit of the tablet's pressure sensitivity, you have to set the intensity of the brushes to a very low value. Other than that, it's just a matter of practice and getting used to making brush strokes with the mouse. So after an hour and 20 minutes in this model, I believe that I have the answer to the question. My conclusion is that it is completely possible to achieve a decent quality sculpture using a mouse. I remember when I first tried ZBrush many years ago, I also started using a mouse, and my first models were terrible, as it happens to most people. But now, with this exercise, I understand that it was not because of the mouse. It was because my artistic skills back then were not as developed as they are today. So, if you are new to ZBrush, but you don't have a tablet yet, don't let that stop you. I hope this video serves as a proof that you can do cool stuff with your mouse. But again, having said that, I strongly recommend that you get a tablet when you can. It will be more comfortable and you will be able to work faster and with more precision. That's it. Thank you for watching.